Hey guys, welcome to this uh, quick video where I made or you know constructed a tune shader for you to use. So where I got this tune shader, where the, at least where I got the idea, was from um, Deduas. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. His demo file. So I downloaded his demo file, and I did that by going to uh, Blender.org, uh, going to Downloads. Uh, and then go into demo files and going right here. This is his uh, His art that he created in blender and he had a tune shader in there And it was a little messy and it was all over the place and it was hard to understand So what I did was I got that shader and I also created a simplified version of my own So let me just run through that right now So this is the shader right here when you open up the file which the gumroad link is in the description So if you want to download it you can use it uh, so once you get into the file, you'll see that um, these top two have uh, Tune Shader 1 and then Tune Shader 2. This one's Tune Shader 1 and this one's Tune Shader 2. So these are the two different Tune Shaders. So this is the one that I got, the uh, inspiration I got a lot of the, um, the node work from that demo file, which is also linked in the description. And when you look at it, you can see that it has all these colors and I have them color coordinated. So I have like the highlight the first color second color third color uh the rim and the valley for the rim and the ambient light so these are the colors that or these are the nodes that you should be messing with for different colors just know that it's affected by light so moving the light forward obviously you can see on the left side there that um the highlight is coming in uh so let's start with the the left one you see all the colors and if you really wanted to understand the note i barely understand it but if you go into the node group here and you hit tab, you can see that I have it all organized uh, and it's not like a big web. At least you can you're able to follow what is happening here. And um, yeah, you could like this is a great learning experience to try and figure out what these uh, nodes do. But to keep it simple, you change the colors here with the first, second, third color um, for your rim color. You'll see here it's at the, the top left. You can change that rim color. And it almost acts as a as an outline, but really it's more like a, a shadow layer. And you can uh, change this value here to make it go, you know, very deep into the the subject. You can see it here on Suzanne, or you know, far away. And the higher you put it, the less it's it appears. So if, I think after 200, you can't even see it anymore. So that's how you would deactivate it. But that's how you would control uh, this this dark rim light if you want it or don't want it and here's all the colors first second third color or highlight first second and this little purple here is the third color uh and that's uh this shader once again thank deduos for sharing his demo file on blender.org he is an all-star so the simplified version i have if this is like too much for you um you can go into uh tune shader 2 uh, and you'll see that this is a bit of a, a simplified version and what I do is I, I use all the I use the color ramp to select the colors and let me move over to the, the ball here uh, and you can control how, how big the highlight is with the color ramp you can control how big the second color is the third color um, and the 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 outside rim here is actually controlled by this uh color ramp and you can move this around and that's basically how you use that this one's a little bit simpler uh because you only have to mess with this color ramp and this right here but w this color ramp for the rim but if you were to use this more complicated one you have all these colors to mess with you have this value to mess with and then you can even go into the group the node group and i put it here i put it into a frame shading controls and you can control how big these are as well so this ambient light you can move this around it's the basically the light purple you can barely see it i'll zoom up here i'll start off with the first color you can see i can control how much of that color appears the color ramp for oh i forgot to name it but this is the second color uh the highlight right in the middle uh, and you can control it from the shader but also remember you can control it with the light by moving the light closer or further away it depends on what you want another thing that affects the the shader is the the radius of the light so making it bigger makes less like less colors but if you make it smaller it's like a point light and you can um see that the, the nice highlight is there so 
that's basically the shader guys uh link is in the description on my gum road uh check out that demo file from dead duos or the duos the duze i think his name's andre uh his name is andre and uh yeah so check that out hope you like it and i'll see you on the next one enjoy guys Thank mm -hmm. you.